there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Bertha. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes? Yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. <sighs> it was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Come on, Inigo! Get a move on! Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. I trust you're faring well. It's... not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, 
I would have said we bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. Have you been paying attention to everything that's happened? He'll betray us the second our backs are turned. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. If there's anything... I trust you're faring well. The bow was said to be carried by Auriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's a pause if you're foolish enough to try it. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Do you need something? It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. So I am. I guess we could use my blood. Do you have any arrows? Elven arrows? I'm not going to just bleed on any old thing. Let's just get this over with. I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me.
this a test, my friend? Oh. Hmm. 